Hello, welcome back. This is part two of our first project in processing. Today we're going to make a block that will jump when the spacebar is pressed. Then later we're going to introduce the sliding block back in for the player to try and jump over. Let's just copy over the background from last time and pick a colour for the jumping block. Okay, that looks good. I think this is how you check if the spacebar was pressed. Yeah, nice, it's working. Okay, so our program knows when the spacebar is pressed. Now we need to make it do something. And that something is make the block jump. So I'm going to make two wild loops, one for making the box go up and the other one for making it come back down. Nothing is happening. Okay, I guess it's time to learn how to use the debugger. So it looks like you set breakpoints by clicking on the line number on the side. I'm just going to step through the code and see what's happening. So these while loops were a total mess. The first one was never entered because I had the wrong x value. Now the block should move up 50 pixels, then back down 50 pixels. F I really thought that would fix it. Okay, so the X position is changing, which is good. So it's just not drawing it as it changes. I'll just move this here and... What the f***? Couple of problems here. The box is only being drawn when the spacebar is pressed and it's moving horizontally instead of vertically. Okay, that fixed one problem. Fucking hell, that was supposed to be the y-axis. Oh, damn. Alright, it's okay. Easy fix, easy fix. At least it's slightly less wrong now. Let's try updating the background inside of these statements. <laughs> oh, f 
That's not right. Well, I'll just put all of the drawing inside the statements. How do you like that? Now it's doing nothing. Move! Move, block! <laughs> all right, since the last clip, I've decided that I was being too ambitious. I couldn't get it to work, but I found a shittier way to make the block jump. So basically, when the space bar's pressed, the Y position changes to 70 pixels higher, then it stays there for 700 milliseconds, then the Y position gets set back to its original value, which is kind of a jump, right? Yep, that's good enough. I'm counting that as a jump. Mission accomplished. Okay, so it's a couple days later, after a lot of research and trying different things, I've got a much better solution. I'll link to the helpful resources in the description. I effectively now have a simulation of gravity acting on my box and an upward force that gets applied to it when the space bar's pressed. So now this program has variables for Y position, Y velocity, and Y acceleration of the box. So when the space bar gets hit, a velocity of negative 10 is applied to the box and acceleration due to gravity is set to 0.5. We can play around with these numbers to change how the box jumps. We could make it super low gravity or whatever we want to do. The new velocity is used to update the position and then the acceleration is used to update the velocity. This next if statement is used to stop the box from flying downwards off the screen after it hits the ground. So basically it just turns the gravity off and sets the velocity back to zero when the box is in the right position until the spacebar gets pressed again. And this render section is where we draw everything. Here's a demo of what the program does. So we can see there's a bit of a problem when we make this a game that the user can just keep hitting the spacebar and hover over the boxes that are going to be sliding along the ground, which is not ideal. I'll add this condition here and hopefully that should fix the problem. Now when the spacebar's hit and the player is on the ground, they'll be able to jump. Cool, that looks like it fixed the problem. Thanks for watching. Next time we're gonna add in the sliding boxes from the last video in with the jumping box and see if we can make this thing into an actual game. I'm just gonna leave up on the screen some jumps with different values for initial velocity and gravity.